Polish priest investigated after gay orgy ends in friend overdosing on erectile pills. This is full of Polish words and I have no idea to pr- how to pronounce it, so just bear with me. In Dab- Dabroa Gornicja, Poland, controversy has erupted following a scandalous event involving several priests. An orgy which had homosexual priests in attendance was disrupted when a male escort (laughs) participating suffered a heart attack due to an overdose of Viagra. The incident took place at the apartment of Father Tomasz Zamarzli, a prominent figure who was also the editor of the Catholic weekly um, Niedzielia so so snowa I don't know some some Catholic weekly newspaper. Okay. <laughs> Upon the escort's collapse, an ambulance was called. However, complications arose when the uh, priest Father Tomas uh, Zamarzli and another priest prevented the paramedics from entering and forced the the paramedics to call the police to get involved. The subsequent fallout has been significant, with Bishop. Uh, Gregor Gregor, uh, Kazakh publicly addressing the incident stating, I wish to emphasize that moral evil will not be tolerated. He further implored the faithful to stand by and support the clergy who felt, quote, hurting and ashamed following the event. The repercussions of this event did not end there. In a shocking turn of events, a parishioner, presumably in response to the scandal, set fire to the doors of the Basilica of the Blessed Virgin Mary of the Angels in the same town. Local media have approached the issue with caution, blurring the images of the involved priest and withholding the full names in their reports. Um... Sorry, Kiko said, as a Pole, as a Polish, I accept your Polish pronunciation. <laughs> My Polish pronunciation is me seeing a bunch of C's, S's, and Z's smushed together and just going, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, whoop, bring it up. Okay, so this is a a scandal that has erupted in Poland. And to be completely honest, I do not know how much I trust the details of these uh, reports that have been um, put out there in English. So Kiko from Poland, please uh, let us know if my description was accurate based on what's available to you. Because I've found information about this in either the Daily Mail, which is not exactly known for its credibility, or this website, the Church Militant, which is a far-right Catholic website. So, (laughs) that being said, take this with a grain of salt. Um, This was fascinating to me. Kenny's saying, I didn't know you could overdose on Viagra. You learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful with that, guys. It it affects your circulation. Um, try, try. I don't. I'm not saying this works. I'm not a doctor. Okay, but try exercise and see if that helps because it helps a lot of people if you exercise instead of taking pills. But yeah, go on. Yeah. Um, okay. So apparently, there was a <laughs> sex party that was organized at this property that actually belongs to some part of the Catholic order. No, no, the the apartment is owned by the Catholic newspaper that he wrote for or was the editor of. And he was having this sex party there. And apparently, I think there was a second, there were two other priests there, allegedly, and a male escort. And the escort apparently took too many ED pills and had a heart attack. And then at one point they were, they were forced to call the police and then when, excuse me, the the paramedics, the paramedics tried to arrive. The priests like, were going to deny them entry to the point that they had to call the police. And then when the emergency services finally were able to get involved, they found the escort lying on the floor unconscious. And he was, taken to the hospital and it seems it sounds like he recovered um and 
so the police are investigating them investigating him in a in a you know criminal setting about failure to assist a person in a situation that poses th- loss of life and in the meanwhile he's being investigated by the church separately under canon law and the the local diocese has said that they're going to you know take him and prosecute him to the full extent under canon law regardless of what happens to him with a police investigation um oh well and this is apparently not the first time there has been a gay priest scandal in poland he's been stripped of all clerical duties and has been fired from his his job as the editor i mean i'm always happy when these news um doesn't involve children so i think we should celebrate that no like this is it. I this mean, is a, in, I yeah, this, but I know, mean, he pretty... there was someone that was in serious medical distress that he allegedly denied care to, or 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 intervened and prevented care to. So we shouldn't celebrate that. I mean, he's alive. Is he fully recovered and f- fine now? Yes. Okay, so it's fine. This is good news. This is all good news. No, no children involved. Nobody died. This is good news. I mean, when it's Catholic church and sex, we always have to like, oh, no. So this is like relatively to all the other news that involves the Catholic church and sex. Mm-hmm. This is pretty good. This is we could we it's fine. Mm-hmm. Like relatively. Rel- I, I mean, the re- standard is pretty low. <laughs> this quote from the article is saying um, like the names of the other priests in the orgy have been uh, withheld. And there was this one priest that was interviewed, told told the Polish media, quote, this is not the first specifically homosexual scandal in this diocese. <laughs> <laughs> quote, in each of these cases, the only reaction of the church authorities is to recommend prayer, parentheses, never enough, and to set up another commission. As you can see, the effectiveness of such actions is quite limited. And there was a former Catholic priest that told the Polish media that the rule of mandatory celibacy, quote, provided a good shelter for priests of a lavender orientation. (laughs) I just love that description, like, (laughs) of a lavender orientation. It's just a very old-fashioned way of talking about gay people. Um, Sorry, you were going to say something? No, that's it. That's it. Uh, We should move forward with, uh, okay, so... Yeah, so secular rarity is saying, uh, are you saying working out gives you a boner? No judgment, just interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then Kiko is saying, I think not an, well, I mean, I know that's a joke, but I just want to say uh, exercising improves your blood flow. So when you need it, it's it does help. Yeah. Well, and also Kiko saying it th- helps with ED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kiko was, I think he had this for you. Uh, Kiko she. saying, I think not an overdose, but lower back pain. But yes, they were taking Viagra. I don't know what that means. Interesting. Maybe talking about what actually happened to the escort. I'm not sure. Right. So GJ just gave us a super chat. GJ saying, has Armin or either of you ever uh, guessed it? Guessed it or collabed with genetically modified skeptic? He has a degree in psychology and um, uh, amassed uh, 650,000 subs or worthwhile? Question mark. Uh, yeah, I mean, I went to um, I went to Israel with him. I went to um, and we have on his channel. There's a whole bunch of videos of him and me which are pretty good to watch. Um, I mean, we used to, we used to, we have a lot of collabs with him, but he hasn't, he doesn't respond to me anymore. Um, ever since I contacted him and asked him to cover the secular revolution that is happening in Iran, given that it's the most, it's the largest movement in the world, in the history of the world, even greater than the, um, you know, revolution that happened in uh, Europe in the Age of Enlightenment. This is the biggest, you know, I, I was surprised at how many atheist YouTubers and content creators were not covering this major event, given, you know, given how many atheists are also involved with it and how many anti-religion activists are involved with it. So I contact, contacted, even though we have a history, me and Genetically Modified Skeptic have a history, um, and me and um, also... A cosmic skeptic have a history 
um, and also me and Rationality Rules were friends on Facebook and I talked to each other for a while and I contacted all three of them. And I, I saw they saw my message. They didn't respond to me. Um, I, I told them this is important. So I made a video. I, I, I posted on Twitter and everywhere, tagging them, asking them to cover the, what's happening in Iran. Um, you know, um, I also tagged Matt Delahunty. Nothing. They didn't even touch upon this subject. So neither uh, Rationality Rules responded to me, said like he was eager to cover this. And then eventually he ghosted me and then he never followed up with me, even though he he acknowledged that this is important and he wants to cover it. But then after a while, he completely, you know, ghosted me. So genetically modified skeptics saw my messages asking him to cover what's happening in Iran, even though he's even though we collapsed so much and we were friends. No response from him, even though I saw that he saw my messages. Cosmic Skeptic, we have a history with him. We collabed. He's my friend. I, he was my friend, at least I think. I mean, uh, I visited him in Oxford. I met him. We ha we hanged out a lot with each other. He saw my messages. Did not did not respond about the revolution in Iran. And also rationality rules. We talked with each other about planning on doing something. And then he eventually also completely ghosted me. And nothing came off of that. So unfortunate. It's very sad that the biggest atheist YouTubers, um, you know, in the West, completely, completely ignored the biggest atheist event in in our lifetime, and I would say, in in, in history, for sure. So yeah, that is where yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 largest ex exit. Of religion we've seen in a giant in a generation probably ever in human history yeah yeah and if for people who say like oh that's not the kind of co topic they cover no they did they did they, they had used to the, that's ex they used to yeah so that's nonsense um and at least you could get a response you know given that the friendship we had and the history we had at least you could get a response to say like this is the reason why i can't cover it nothing though completely ghosted um yeah it's such a shame you know i think like a, a lot of liberal western atheists just betrayed their fellow atheists and um this is a i think this is a completely a betrayal you know when oh, we, we want athe we want atheists around the world to be there for each other and when we needed them the most they have a platform they have the largest audiences and when we needed them the most they completely abandoned us it's mm -hmm. a complete betrayal. It's a shame. Yeah. Like this yeah. is why AP posted a apostate prophet posted a thing in his community tab the other day. It was like, people oh. are always complaining about why I, you know, um, work with Christians so much. And he basically said, it's because like the atheists in the West don't care about ex Muslims at all, blah, blah, blah. And that yeah, like made me a little bit mad. Cause I'm like, Hey, we're over here. We're doing our thing, blah, blah, blah. But his point is taken, <laughs> you know, because I actually get, very angry about the same thing yeah and by the way shout out to apostate prophet okay when this happened in iran okay yes i contacted him and i was like this is important we need to cover he was he was taking a break from youtube he was not doing youtube for a while he had a whole other thing like he his mind was completely off youtube for that time he was trying to and when he saw this, he was like, immediately, he was like, yep, we need to do this. Within like 24 hours, you guys were doing a stream about it. I messaged him on Facebook and I was like, this is important. We need to do this 24 hours after he had me on. And, I, you know, it doesn't have to be with me. Like, I just like, just cover it, you know, just mention, just mention this. Right. So shout out to um, Apostate Prophet for covering this and dedicating an entire episode on it. And also shout out to the ACA, right, um, you know, for covering this. So thank you to the ACA. They, on the, they co covered this on the Atheist Experience show. So, I mean, I just want to mention that it's not a complete, you know, I, I want to also mention the positive. I just don't want to just mention the negative. And also shout out to uh, the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Mm -hmm. They also, mm -hmm. so not all Western atheists have abandoned I I Iranian you know, so there you go. I'm, I just don't want to just say negative things. I also want to celebrate the positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. 
But this, yeah. this is why I prefer to spend my time around ex-Muslims. Because <laughs> I feel like you guys <laughs> share my values more than other people. Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube? Blasphemous art ever? We do! And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.